Hello, chat. Hello, chat. Back home. Back home. Came from the airport this morning. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Sorry, I started. I didn't realize that my lips were like dry before I started this. So excuse me. <laughs> it's a three years some change check. It's a hey Jazzy. Hey Noah. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Yes, we are here. I flew back this morning from Florida and took a big nap so that, that way I could have energy to wake up and do the stream tonight. Because <laughs> I didn't want to miss out on another Tuesday for my tier list. And I know y'all want me to rank like women characters, women um like rappers, women video game characters, things like that. But I want to say that for April because I don't want to put another woman over another and make one like in a low tier in Women's History Month. I can't do that. Not during March. So I got to do that in April. So today we are doing something which is not as like, I want to say controversial. Maybe. I don't know. Because y'all be getting triggered by some of my, some of my rankings. But, <laughs> but I would say uh, today we are doing candy. I'm just modifying this one really fast because... I ain't never had some of these. Let me see. Hold on. Let's let's make that clear. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's move this over there. There we go. Okay, so we have this candy tier list. Okay. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Hold on, hold on. I didn't dab y'all up. My bad, my bad. You know what I'm saying? They can come through. You know what I'm saying? Tier list Tuesday. We back in here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get. Hey, 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 hey. What? Hey, 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 hey. Yep. What? Hey. Sorry, sorry. Getting getting sidetracked, getting sidetracked, getting sidetracked. So we doing candy tear list, y'all. This was made by someone down here. Go ahead and follow this person for this, this list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go up here. Let's go up here. We're gonna start. Okay, so we got we got candy here. We got A, B, C, D, E, and never had. You know what? Just because some people didn't understand the meaning of mid last time, I'm gonna change the word, the letter C, to mid, so some people can have a visual of what this means. Okay, and let me put this in in caps too. Never had. So that way people know that too. He said, what's good, gang, homie? Thank you, no name. All right. He said, did I hear about the key bridge collapse? Yes, I did. I actually heard about it this morning as we were flying back home and we were flying to DC. And I just feel like that whole bridge situation is just tragic for everybody involved. And I hope that they rescued everybody. I hope that there were no, ca I don't know yet. I don't know how many casualties there were. But if there were, I'm so sorry to the family. But I'm glad that the mayor spoke out at 4 a.m. when it happened and everything like that. And that bridge is going to take a long time to, to rebuild. That's a lot of jobs and everything that could be in, impacted by that. So I hope that that gets remedied soon. And I hope that those that got affected by it get compensation in some type of way. Because that's crazy. That was a crazy sight to see. That is it's one of your worst nightmares. Yeah, I feel like that's going to make people more scared to go on bridges now if they weren't already. Um, Hold on one second. Let me go ahead and start this over because I hikey like this song. Okay, so we're going to start off with... uh, oh, Where am I? Okay, there we go. 100 grand. I have never had this candy, so I don't have an opinion on it. I've, I've seen it, but it looks like... It looks like, I ain't gonna lie, 100 grand look like something that unks eat. I don't know why, but 100 grand just give me unk vibes for some reason. Like, in this, like, no, I've never seen one kid ask for 100 grand, like, in their Halloween bucket. Like, I've never heard anybody ask for this. So I've never had it to even have an opinion. Uh, Three Musketeers, I've definitely had it. And I actually like it. I actually like Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers was one of the few candy bars I did eat. Okay. 
He said, here's Jazzy Gun's famous words. <laughs> Thank you, Agent. <laughs> he said, you need chilla art, chilla art, so you're begging for it. Actually, I was thinking of doing a stream tomorrow for chilla arts anyway. So I'm glad that y'all said that because we're gonna do that. I just didn't do it today because today's Tearless Tuesday, so. Um, he said, is A tier? Okay. <laughs> okay, Airheads, Airheads. I gotta get out of A. Airheads is banging. Airheads, Airheads is one of my favorite candies growing up, okay? Airheads, especially, what's y'all favorite Airhead flavor? Because mine, my top three, my top three is the red cherry. I be fighting over that red cherry. The strawberry and the orange. The ones that could go is definitely the grape. Like if somebody want like, um, like if I had like a pack of Airheads, right? And like they had the grape flavor in it and somebody wanted something they wanted me to share. I'm automatically giving you grape. I'm automatically giving you grape and I'm automatically giving you blueberry, okay? And maybe sometimes the white one. Everything else is mine, okay? <laughs> Everything else is mine. The grape and blueberry could go, but everything else is mine. He said mystery because they always blue raspberry. <laughs> Um, you said no one, no one is into grape candy, to be honest. You know what, high key, why do they even make grape candy? Because those, that grape candy don't never taste like grape. It's high key purple. Like, like, like grape stuff is high key just purple flavoring. Because grapes don't taste like that. Grapes are sweet. The ones that I eat, the grapes are sweet. They make purple, and at least in America, they make pur like purple the flavor. Like, like it's actually just purple. I said low key it is purple. Yeah, grape candy is just purple, bruh. Like, I don't, uh-uh. You said red and purple, Jazz. We don't say the fruit where I come from. <laughs> you said grapes don't have enough flavor to be a candy. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's not like, you know, whatever. But, uh, okay, this is Almond Hershey's. Okay, I did have this one. And these are, I'm gonna give it a D. I don't really like those. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of Hershey bar. Like I can only eat like a certain Hershey bar and it'll be good to me. But the rest of it, I'm like, mm. you know. It said RP written a Kiri Toriyama DBZ. Yes, I know RP to him, he's a legend. I'll put that in a D, it's not really that good. Okay, Almond Joy. Where y'all think this is going? Where y'all think Almond Joy is going? If you know me. Not you saying Almond Joy on top, period. <laughs> hey, that Almond Joy going in the trash. In the garbage, okay? Almond Joy is going in the garbage. It is garbage. It is disgusting. I don't know who. I don't know who in a mind be like, I want an Almond Joy right now. Almond Joy is disgusting, okay? Every time that I had Almond Joy in my in my Halloween basket of candy, automatically chuck it to the side. My parents like it. My parents like that, so they can automatically have that. I was never mad at that, but uh, uh, yuck. You said I have no taste, girl. <laughs> Look, these are just my opinions, okay? I just think it's trash. I just think it's nasty. You could like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Mm -mm. You said candy will almost, <laughs> and it should be thrown in the trash, period. <laughs> you said, and you know what? Since we added, I better hope Mounds is not on here too, because that's going in the same spot. I hope Mounds is not here. Why is Almond Joy here twice? This shit going in the trash. You try to sneak that in twice. That shit is going in the trash. Let me see. Let me see if I see all uh, mounds in here too, because that shit sucks. Three times? Three times? Almond Joy, you're going in here three times. I don't know who's trying to push this Almond Joy uh, uh, campaign, but you going in the trash every damn time. Okay, some of these are act actually, now that I look at this list, a lot of these are repeated. Oh yeah, there go mounds. There go mounds right there. There go mounds right there, trash too. There we go. That's a whole agenda y'all trying to push. Oh, this list is just repeated a lot. This list was repeated a lot to go ahead and, and look like it's good. You know what? We're going to do another one. This is why I have multiple up because that's, that's the, uh-uh. Okay. Because look, that, that's, you said no. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> this is 17 months.
months. When are you using the memes that you sent on Twitter? Much love for the DMV sister. Can't wait to meet you. Yes, I had still have a plan for it. I just didn't announce it yet. Hold on, hold on. So there's this other list that's right here that I found that actually has some different ones in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. Cause this other one, actually, let's finish this one. Let's finish this one. Let's finish this one since I already made it. And once we see that we start repeating, once we get down to here at the 100 gram, we gonna stop and go to the other side. Um, it says like almond joy tastes like booty and grape juice. <laughs> booty and grape juice. Okay, so now they didn't put an apple here. I understand why they put an apple here because some some parents do be putting apples in people's like Halloween baskets. And my mom always threw it away. Reason being, <laughs> reason being not that she doesn't like me to have um, apples. Oh, candy apple? That ain't no candy apple, that's a regular ass apple. That candy, that is, that apple has nothing on it. This apple ain't got no caramel, no chocolate, no nothing. That is a regular apple that has nothing on it. If it had like some, some caramel and chocolate and nuts and everything like that, that would be a candy apple. This is a regular ass apple. Okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing on this shit. <laughs> candy apples, no, but candy apples are actually good. I actually like candy apples. Candy apples, I'll put that in a B tier. If this is candy apple, I'll put it in a B tier. If this if it's just a regular ass apple, I do like apples, but if you if I'm if I'm trick or treating and I get a regular ass apple, I'm putting it in the trash because why are you giving me apple? I can eat that every day of the year. Why are you giving it to me on Halloween? Okay, fireball. You said nasty. <laughs> Ozempic candy apple. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, you think that candy apples are nasty, Taco? <laughs> okay, the fireball. High key. Hate this shit. Hate this shit. I'm sorry. I don't want to be fighting for my life and not eat some candy, bruh. I want to relax, okay? Fireball, atomic fireball, fuck no. That That is in the trash. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. You said they too hard to eat. I get it. <laughs> they could, you know what? A good candy apple will fuck your mouth up. Not even just your teeth. Like, a good candy apple is sending you to the doctor. Like, you, you're going to have to go to not only the dentist to fix your teeth, but the doctor to fix, like, your gums and everything. Well, like, like the roof of your mouth. Like, this is going to be cuts. Like, it's just going to be, it's just going to be a bad time. It's just going to be a bad time. Right, candy not supposed to be hot. Exactly. Baby Ruth. I could have sworn these were called Baby Ruth, but whatever. Um, These are myth. Those are myth. The Chewy Nerds. The Chewy Nerds. I don't think I've had the Chewy Nerds. I have never had the tuna. I've had regular nerds, but uh-uh. <laughs> okay, Twizzlers. Y'all, y'all should already know we're Twizzlers. The black Twizzlers. Okay, not the red. High key. High key, the red and black go in the same category. But where do y'all think that the black Twizzlers is going? Taco, no. Not you saying Twizzlers is S tier. You joking. You joking right now, because that is definitely in the garbage. That is definitely some nasty. I don't know who. I don't know who decided that we're going to make some red and black plastic. We're going to make some red and black rubber bands, basically, and sell it as candy. Because that shit tastes like plastic. I feel like I'm eating a straw. Like, not even like the sour straws. Oh wait, oh wait, that's a never had. My bad, that's going in trash. That's going in trash, my bad. I put it in the wrong category, that's in trash. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, it is plastic. Yuck, yuck. You, you, and y'all be, y'all be talking, y'all be talking about me? Y'all be talking about me saying I ain't got no taste buds? What are you eating, Twi black Twizzlers at that? What are you doing eating black Twizzlers, the tar Twizzlers for? Those have no flavor, yuck. Ugh. Yuck, disgusting. Y'all talking about me? Yuck. Yuck. It tastes like absolutely nothing. Yuck. Okay, the blow pops. Blow pops, I gotta put an A tier. High key love those. I high key love blow pops. You get you get me a good green apple blow pop or a cherry one. Mm. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
She said they literally taste like nothing. Yes, like Twizzlers taste like nothing. I don't even know why they're still in business. Who is tasting it? Like, I don't understand. Good Lord. Okay, Butterfinger. Butterfinger, I actually do kind of like these. Butterfinger, I put that in the B. I don't know what this is. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'ma just put this here. This is like one of them little granny candies. This is like one of them little candies that like your granny got like in church. She just have it on deck in her purse. And she don't know what it is either. Is that butterscotch actually? Now that I think about it, is that butterscotch? If it's butterscotch, then I kind of put it, uh, I kind of put it here. Cause if it's but I didn't know what it was, but now that I think about it, I think that's butterscotch. So butterscotch, I'm gonna put that right there. That's that's that granny candy, but it's kind of good. You, it's like butterscotch is like that candy that you will never automatically choose yourself. But if it's given to you, you would eat it. Like that's what butterscotch is to me. So you said that's nasty ass butterscotch. <laughs> they be busting when you need it. When you hungry, butterscotch is hitting. Okay. All right, candy corn. <laughs> Where y'all think this is going? Where y'all think that candy corn is going? And I feel like some of y'all should know this answer because I already kind of made a video about it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. Candy corn is great. Candy corn is delicious. If y'all, I feel like if you don't like candy corn, it's because you try to eat a whole bunch of it at one time. Candy corn is great in small doses. You gotta, you gotta have a, you gotta have a certain decorum to eat some candy corn. Okay, you can't, you can't just eat candy corn like you eat all these other other uh uh candies. You gotta eat candy corn and like small doses. You gotta eat it and like. And like very small, like like think of the palm of your hand. Put like five in the palm of your hand. That'd be the most busting candy corn you'd have ever had. But if you just shoveling it down, like all the other ones, yuck. Like it could be nasty. Y'all said wax candy. <laughs> you said you thought you were better than that. You gotta eat it in little doses, bruh. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, bruh. All <laughs> So you one of them. I wish T was here. I wish T was right here with me, cause she would be. She would. She would back me up in this, cause y'all gonna beat me up over this. Y'all still saying unsubscribing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need T. I need T for the backup. You said you tripping. <laughs> you said the texture is dope. Look, y'all. Have y'all ever tried to eat candy corn like 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 color by color? Or oh, was that just me? Like, I, when I was a kid, I used to like eat the candy corn. Like, so you know, it's like white, orange, like, and yellow. So I'd eat like the tip and just like do like a Squidward bite and eat the tip first. And that was like the sugariest part. And then like the middle, the middle is a little bitter. It's a little bitter, but it kind of tastes good. And then like, if you eat that yellow, it's like a soft, like nice, like ending to all the bitterness. Like, <laughs> y'all said just you, babes. <laughs> That's what makes me feel like I'm a weird child. Oh my God. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> no, not y'all saying no diddy. Oh my God. They said this isn't you. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. If this is, I don't, okay. So chat, let me know. Is this butterscotch or is this butterscotch or is both of these butterscotch? Is this tall? Like, what is this? Is this butterscotch? I don't know. He said, you're not alone, I love, they're both? It looks like they're both butterscotch. If it's the same thing, then we gonna put that there. Okay, the milk chocolate flips. They, those are, I don't like the milk chocolate, I like the white chocolate ones, the milk chocolate ones. I ain't put that in D, it's all right. He said, you ate the tip, huh, for shame, Jazz, for shame. Look, y'all, y'all need to get y'all minds out the gutter, okay? Because I'm talking about candy, all right? We need to talk about that other stuff. Jeez, get y'all mind out the gutter. Those are these. I like the I like the white chocolate ones better. Me personally, I like the white chocolate ones. Okay, the Hershey's cookies and cream. This one is busting. I don't really fuck with Hershey's bars, but that cookies and cream bar hit. It hits. Oh my god. Me and the way used to fight over this one. <laughs> it's it is delicious. Not you saying trash. Oh, taco. What do you mean? 
Hey, that one is bussin'. It's so good. It's so good. Yes, Lord. You gotta get you a king size. Okay. You said it has a weird taste. No, it does. I will admit, it does have like a weird little aftertaste. But I feel like the rest of it, like, overcomes that. Like, I don't know. Ugh. How? How? Okay, crunch. Ooh, I do like crunch bars. Crunch bar, I would get at a B. That was a good B. Crunch bars are kind of good. Okay, dots, I get at a D. That's like, that's like I would eat dots if it's at the bottom of my Halloween basket. If it's there and I don't see nothing else, like I'd eat it. But like, that's not my first choice ever. But like, I'd eat it. I won't throw it away. Okay, double bubble. <laughs> double bubble. I got, I gotta put this in the, you know what? I gotta put double bubble in the D category because I know that this was heavy in like my childhood and probably a lot of other people's, but this, if this gum wasn't the chalkiest, this was one of the chalkiest gums I could ever describe. I don't know. I don't know how else I can say it. It's like, it's a, it's a hard chalky gum that run out of flavor in 10 minutes like it's like i don't know how to explain it but you eat that thing for 10 minutes it is done bro that shit is done right that's some ashy gum exactly it's a it's, yeah it's ashy it said tastes good but the flavor go away exactly it's like mm -mm. uh-uh you gotta have some strong teeth for that one too okay milk duds milk duds i have to put that I don't really care for it that much, so I gotta put it right there. I gotta put that there. Yeah, same with Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit, the same thing. Like, it's like, mm, -mm. Yup. Okay, let's go ahead and do, uh, oh, these little ki- Which ones are these? Oh, the little dum dum, uh, the dummy. What do you call it? Dum dums? I don't know what you call it, but these little things, they be hitting. These little, these little dummy, uh, dummy lollipops. I don't know, I don't know what you call it, bro. But these things are good. Like whenever you like get them for free, like at the doctor's office or dentist or bank or whatever like that, and they have those, I'm loading up, okay? I'm that customer that's loading up on your dum-dums, okay? I'm loading up. Give me them. And they're so perfect. They're so perfect. They're perfect little size. Those things are so good. I'm loading up on them joints. Okay. Let's see. Uh, fruit snacks. Okay, the Welch's fruit snacks. Okay, those are those are kind of good. Those, those are those are B tier. Oh, these fruit chews? Oh, these uh Tootsie fruit chews? That gotta go in the A as well. That gotta go to A as well. Them things were bomb at the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck, when they used to have those fruit chews, they sell you a whole bag for like uh like 75 cents or something like that. Like it was just so good, bruh. Ugh, these things are good. Not y'all saying nasty. Oh my god. What is going on? What is going on? The taco, I'm looking at your, I'm looking at your taste buds, bruh. Looking at your taste buds. Cause what? Mm-mm. One thing that did piss me off about these fruit chews, and I don't even blame Tootsie Roll for this, but because of these fruit chews, and because of how popular they were getting at first, when we used to get them from like the, uh, from the ice cream truck, they used to be real cheap, like under a dollar. Now they try to put the price up and make you pay a dollar or more for those, for like a bag of that. When I used to get it for like 75 cents or less. Like they started taxing them things. Oh my God. You said this is a tier list, like a tier? <laughs> you said you like the hood fruit chews, high key? High key, those are. <laughs> high key, yes, yes it is. Um, oh, Fun Dip. Fun Dip is my shit. You're going in the A tier. Fun Dip is good. That stick didn't have no flavor. But that that dust, that sugar, oh, you scoop it up. That shit is so good. Sometimes I didn't even use the damn stick. I just used my finger. My finger be blue or red as shit. It's good. That stick was nothing, okay? That will be the first thing I eat is probably the stick and then use just my finger for the rest of it. But that was good. It was good. Yeah, <laughs> someone said asbestos. <laughs> okay, gobstoppers. I gotta put that at the A tier as well. Gobstopper, you know what? Gobstopper is the only like jawbreaker can it's cause it's like little jawbreakers, high key. But they are so good. They're like the most time consuming 
candy that you would eat, but it's so rewarding. I feel like it's so good. Gobstoppers are basically, y'all never heard of it? Okay, so not you saying nasty. Okay, Gobstoppers, think of a Ed, Ed and Eddie jawbreaker, right? That's big as hell. But they shrink it like 10 times. So like now the, the jawbreaker is like this big. So they're delicious. And they come in like different flavors and everything like that. What y'all say? Ew. Gobstoppers like this are, are great. What do you mean? Jawbreakers. And Ed and Nettie, I kind of I kinda blame Ed and Nettie because Ed and Nettie made it seem like Jawbreakers was like the shit because everybody was like fighting for it. And then when I got an actual Jawbreaker when my mom bought it one time, first of all, that Jawbreaker was about the size of like, it was bigger than a golf ball, okay? And I thought that I could put it in my mouth like they did in the cartoon. No, you can't. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> you cannot. I had to sit there and basically lick it for like a week. And I, and I still didn't even get down to the middle. My mom was like, never. Well, obviously by jawbreakers, I didn't want to bite into it. But like, I had to lick it for like a week. And I just gave up and I threw that shit in the trash. <laughs> but with gobstoppers, they're small. So you could like eat it in one sitting. You can. So it's good. You said they scammed us. <laughs> yes, for a week, bro. Because if you bite down on a on a jawbreaker, you're done. Your teeth are done. You going to the dentist. Good and plenty. Never had these actually. Good and plenty. Always look like pills to me. Like I don't know. Like it just looked like medicine. Like I didn't want to eat good and plenty because it looked like medicine. And nothing looked enticing about it. I never. I never wanted that. Not y'all saying bad. It said good and plenty sounds Caucasian. <laughs> oh my God. He said, aren't good and plenty like Mike and Ike's? Uh, it's, I'm assuming that good and plenty is like the white and purple version of Mike and Ike's. But I don't know. I just never had it. It just looks like, it just looks like medicine. Like this looks like a medicine box to me. You say you think I'm guessing, I'm guessing that you think it's the same about Mike and Ike's. High key, yes. I've had it. I've actually had Mike and Ike's. I thought the same thing about Mike and Ike's as I do with Good and Plenty, but with Mike and Ike's, I actually had it because somebody gave it to me while it was out of the box. <laughs> and uh, these things are still like mid, like they're okay. Mike and Ike's are actually okay. You said, why the fuck Nature Valley's not a candy? And look, y'all, I ain't make this list, okay? I did not make this list, okay? This this person down here made that list. I ain't make it. But I don't even know why this is here, but this is going in the E tier as well. I fucking, I hate, I hate Nature. The reason why I hate Nature Valley is because I feel like Every time you eat it, I've never had a Nature Valley bar where I open it and the bar is intact and it's one bar, like not broken. It's always broken. Two, when I eat it, it's like I've just bit into something that crumbles as soon as I touch it. It's just crumbs. Like it's just crumbs the whole time that you're eating it. Like it's just, it just disintegrates in your mouth. It disintegrates as soon as you bite it. You said your taste buds are peak. Don't let them silence you. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't never have, like, there's never been a moment where I was like, I need a Nature Valley granola bar. Like, there's softer ones out in the world. I don't want to eat that hard-ass brick. I don't want to eat a brick every time I try to have a snack. I don't want that. You said, but the experience? No. See, with a, y'all said it's like a jawbreaker. See, with a jawbreaker, if you work at it long enough, you get different flavors. If you work at a Nature Valley bar, you're getting dust. You're getting dust and, and debris coming off that brick. That's what you're getting. Right, sawdust. That's what you're getting. You're getting debris. It, it, there's nothing changing. <laughs> um, You say, yeah, yeah, exactly, Mamba. It's that fake snack you pack to make people think you're eating healthy. Because high key, they not even good for you. So, it's a, it's a facade. He said, that chocolate one is my favorite, honestly. <laughs> okay, the SpongeBob Krabby Patties. Even though I love the aesthetic as a kid, these are very, very tasteless. <laughs> very tasteless gummies. I ain't gonna lie. The Krabby Patties were very tasteless. The only thing that had flavor 
was that lettuce part. That lettuce part right there in the middle was the only part that had flavor. Everything else, the buns, the patty, all that, chalky as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was ashy. So, that's going in the D tier. He said, but the memories. No, the memories are good. I love the nostalgia, but if we talking about the memories from my tongue, my taste buds, they are a little traumatized, a little bit, just a little. Um, Now, y'all y'all know where Trolley's going. Where's, I'm not even gonna show y'all where it's going. Where's Trolley going? Where's Trolley going? Let's be for real. Let's be for real. Where's it going? It's only going but one place. He said, <laughs> Trolley is S tier. We want the sponsor for Jazz. I, I already got a sponsor one time by Trolley's. <laughs> it's an A. Come on now. Come on now. Only reason why I'm not eating Trolley's right now is because I got this shit in my mouth. Because I got that. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason why I'm not eating trolleys right now. It's because I'm trying to uh, do this Invisalign thing correctly. A actually, high key, I'm already done with my Invisalign. I just got to get veneers put in. And I'm kind of stalling on that because I have to get more wisdom teeth taken out. And I'm stalling on that because <laughs> when your wisdom teeth get taken out as an adult, your recovery takes longer and your face can swell up. And I got a lot of events to go to. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be out of commission. So that's why I've been stalling on getting all that stuff done. Because, yeah. <laughs> Not y'all saying Jazzy Gums. <laughs> yes, I'm getting veneers, y'all, one day. Reason being, it's not because my teeth are bad. Like, they're not, they're not bad. I just have small teeth. So they're giving me bigger size teeth because my adult size teeth are very tiny, okay? And so that I got Invisalign so that I could space out my teeth to make space for the veneers, one. And two, I got Invisalign as well to help with my migraine problem because I had chronic migraines. And high key, I didn't even know that that was a thing until my den dentist like uh, did like a checkup on me and then she was like, oh, she looked at my mouth and she was like, do you have headaches, like a lot? And that's when I was sold because I was like, how the hell could you tell that? Because I've had chronic migraines since I was like eight. I was like, how can you tell that from looking at my mouth? And then it actually made it like better. I still get them. I still get migraines, but very, very less frequently than I did before I had them. So it actually worked. So if you have a migraine problem, might want to check out your teeth. Might want to check out your dentist because there's nothing... Like, like, my teeth were straight and everything. It's just, like, the position of them, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a retainer that looks like my Invisalign. Yeah, so this is basically a retainer that I have in my mouth. I'm at the end of my Invisalign journey. It's just I have to wear this until I get my veneers. So, basically, that's what I'm doing. So. Y'all still say all pooky. I'm good. <laughs> if you have chronic migraines, look into Invisalign. It might, it might be that. Um... Gold bears. Oh, the gummy bears. The gummy bears. High key, these are good. Those are very good. I do like those. They're not up here, but it's good. It's definitely better than mid. You said saying mid is a stupid word, bruh. <laughs> no, I put it originally with C, but I put mid here so that people can see that it's middle. Okay, it's a short for middle. Okay. He said, what happened to you guys react to Mr. Nightmare? He politely asked us to stop when we did. So that's all that is. Um... He said, those are hard as fuck too chewy. Y'all don't like those? Y'all don't like that? I do. Heath, Heath are actually kind of good. Like if Heath as a, as a topping is delicious, but Heath as the bar, I'm not gonna just, like it's mid, like it's mid, like it's all right. Like Heath is good. You gotta, you gotta, I, I thought you should think that Heath was bad, but I grew up and mature and I was like, you know what? It ain't that bad. It's actually kind of, it's kind of nice. Um, you said they kind of good, kind of bad. Exactly. It's, it's mid. Heath? Yes. Heath is good sometimes. Exactly. He said, I love that you put almond joy at the bottom where it belongs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we got Hershey's regular milk chocolate. I'm going to put that in the D tier. I don't know. It's something about chocolate that is so overpowering that like if I eat chocolate, it needs something else along with it for me to eat it because just pure chocolate stuff, I don't like. 
I don't know. It's just too overpowering. I don't know. It's just too overpowering. Yes. It has a weird aftertaste. Exactly. It's just like, I don't know. You said you fighting? <laughs> it's a chocolate be making my, uh, you said now Jazz will be eye to eye. Look, 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 y'all. Look, look, look. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Chocolate by itself, if it's just a Hershey bar, sucks. But Hershey as like a topping, like to go with something, could make it better, but it's still gonna overall taste like that one thing. Like, like if you have like chocolate sauce, like Hershey's chocolate sauce, right? You pour Hershey's chocolate sauce on vanilla ice cream. That vanilla ice cream is now chocolate, okay? That's how overpowering it is. That's why I put it in a D. Like, whatever you have, and this is coming from me that work in Cold Stone, okay? Like, I worked in an ice cream shop. Anything that had Hershey's chocolate sauce on top of it now makes that ice cream chocolate. Don't care what flavor you got. If you had cotton candy, if you had mint, if you had whatever, it became chocolate. Like, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. It's just chocolate at that point. I need something else with it. It's too overpowering. Is it? Can I stream playing five, five Nights at Freddy's four one day? I think I. No, I didn't. I gotta look to see if I have. <laughs> okay, hot tamales. Did I ain't got to talk about it? Hot tamales. You're going in the fucking garbage. You're going in the fucking garbage. I don't want to fight for my life eating candy. That goes, that goes for that cinnamon, that cinnamon red hot gum, that red hot gum, that goes there too. Don't mind, don't, nobody want that shit, that's nasty as fuck. That's nasty as hell. Ugh. Yuck. Oh my God. Nasty. Nobody want to fight for my life eating some candy. Candy's supposed to be sweet. Why not hot? Why am I fighting? Okay. Jelly beans. Now... For jelly beans, I gotta put it in the mid tier because high key, it depends on the flavor that you're eating. Like, and uh, what is it? Bamboozle kind of fucked me up. <laughs> but, like, the flavor of jelly bean that you're eating can either be, oh my God, this is so damn good, or I'm going to throw up right now. Like, it's going, like, jelly beans, it depends on the flavor. Like, you gotta have a, a A tier, S tier flavor for it to be good. And if it's not, you you won't throw up. So that's why I put it in mid. Because it depends. It depends. So, mm -mm. You said the black jelly bean? Yeah. Mm -mm. You said it tastes like boogers? <laughs> okay. Jolly Ranchers. I gotta put that up here in the A, to A, A list. A tier. Even the grape one. And I know I was talking shit about grape. But even the grape one tastes good. Even though we know that's not great flavor, that's purple, but like, it's good. Like, that's a good one to like, you know what? I was about to say something, but y'all gonna say that it's, y'all gonna say no ditty and pause and everything to it if I say that next sentence. I'm just gonna keep to myself, so whatever. Um, <laughs> that, that is actually good. You say, yeah, they taste heavenly, exactly. I love, my favorite Jolly Rancher is the cherry one though. The cherry one's my favorite. Cherry, then watermelon, then green apple, then blue raspberry. But I know the blue raspberry is everybody's favorite, so they probably gonna get me on that too, but whatever. <laughs> you said no ditty, yes. People are saying, people are saying no ditty in response to like pause or whatever like that. Like that's becoming like, I've heard that's become like the new pause or whatever. They say like no ditty. Like, like I'm gonna put you in this position, no ditty. That's what I've been hearing. So. Yeah. <laughs> you said that's wild, yeah. Mm -mm. Y'all had a peach Jolly Rancher? There's a peach Jolly Rancher? There's a peach Jolly Rancher? I ain't never had that. Which one is that? I ain't never had that. Okay. Um, Junior Mints. Where y'all think that's going? Junior Mints is going in a specific tier. Yeah, mm. Nacho Taco, please. You're killing me. <laughs> Nacho's A 
them S tier. That shit garbage. What do you mean? Yuck. Who wants some? If I wanted Junior Mints, if I wanted, if I wanted Junior Mints, I will brush my teeth, okay? If I wanted Junior Mints, if I wanted some mint candy, I just get my toothbrush and brush my teeth. That's all I'm gonna do. Why am I eating that as a candy? Yuck. Come on now. Yuck. Ew. Ugh. I just get toothpaste. The fuck, like, I might as well just get some crest and eat it. Yuck. You said Junior Mints at the movie theater hit different. No. Uh-uh. Is it just arrived nerds? Is it is it never had just now? No, I've never had the chewy ones. I've had nerds, just not the chewy ones. Like, uh. He said brush your teeth and ruin it at the same time. Exactly. Because people be taking junior mints and be eating it because it's mint flavor and thinking that their breath gonna smell great. Your breath's still hitting. Your breath is still hitting with junior mints, okay? Because guess what? There's chocolate wrapped around that. Okay? So your breath is going to be cool, it's going to be icy, it's going to be cold temperature, but that shit's still going to be hot, okay? Your breath is still going to be hot, all right? It is. Your breath is still hot. You might feel like it's cold, but that breath is hot, okay? Stop it. Lord. Hot. All right. Percy Kisses. These are actually very good. These are actually very good. I'm not gonna put them in A tier, but it's good. The kisses are bomb. The kisses are a perfect amount of chocolate. It's not too much like a whole Hershey bar. It's a perfect little, it's a little, it's a little kiss. It's a little kiss of chocolate. It said Jazz didn't you say Hershey kisses are nipples? <laughs> I sure did. I thought that Hershey, you know what? I, I feel like I don't wanna get back into this conversation, but I did refer to Hershey kisses as like nipples. And apparently I was told that that is something else. So I'm not gonna get back into it. <laughs> okay. Is it you ever tried chocolate out the fridge? Bruh. I'm gonna tell you about my chocolate out in the fridge story. I feel like some people heard of it, but I'm gonna say it again once I get to it. But y'all gonna, gonna see. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kit Kat. Kit Kat is actually kind of mid to me. And if you eat the Kit Kat without breaking it, you a psychopath, okay? If you just bite all the bars all at one time and just take a chomp out of it, you a psychopath, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> y'all said ill, easily E. Not y'all saying A. Look, y'all. Y'all said for real, for real. No, Kit Kat, like, it's all right. It's another, it's a wafer candy. So, like, it's another one of those candies where, like, it's good, but it's still a little ashy. Like, it's a little chalky. It's a little chalky. I don't know. And maybe, high key, I'm just a little biased because because I worked in Cold Stone, I had to use those Kit Kats and, like, use it for decorations and, like, put sprinkles on them and all this other stuff. So, I might be a little biased to it, too. But it's, it's a little, it's a little chalky. It's a little, it's a little ashy. Need a little lotion. Need a little more cocoa butter on it. I don't know. Um, I don't know what this is. So we just gonna put that there. I don't know what that is. Um, the perk Laffy Taffy. Now, Laffy Taffy in itself is a B tear. The grape one, I don't like the grape one, but Laffy Taffy in itself is good. The grape one, don't. You know what the worst Laffy Taffy one is? The banana Laffy Taffy. If you like banana Laffy Taffy, I'm looking at you sideways. Just a little, because banana Laffy, Ta Laffy Taffy is disgusting. Disgusting, okay? Laffy Taffies are good. Not y'all say the banana ones. Uh-uh, uh-uh, bruh, no. Laffy Taffy, when you get it, you gotta put, okay, this is the correct way to, this is my correct way to eat Laffy Taffy. When you get Laffy Taffy, you gotta put it in your back pocket, right? And sit down and watch a movie for a good two hours. Go go put Laffy Taffy in your back pocket, specifically the back. Go ride a roller coaster, go to the amusement park. Just forget about it for a few two hours, okay? Then take it out and eat it. And it is the best thing ever. You gotta, it's like the same thing with now and later. It's like you gotta, you gotta have it melt a little bit. You gotta have it melt. <laughs> okay. 
you gotta warm it up naturally, okay? You gotta you gotta do something too. You can't just eat it hard. You can't do that. Of course you're gonna have a bad time. Exactly. <laughs> Discontinue those and now later's gotta be warm. I agree exactly. You said you want laffy assy. Look, y'all ain't never warm up. Your, okay, y'all making it seem like I'm crazy. Y'all ain't never had candy in your pocket and it melt and it tastes good. Like, you never gonna put chocolate in your pocket because that's gonna be a disaster waiting. But, like, when it's like now and later or laffy taffy, something that needs to be softened, y'all don't wanna. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I, I guess I'm the weird kid, okay? Because that was good. <laughs> Y'all said I'm warming my food like a penguin. <laughs> oh my God. Laffy Assy, I ain't gonna lie. Laffy Assy was taking me out, but yes, I did eat that Laffy Assy and it was good too. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so lemon heads. I'm gonna put that in the A tier. Lemon heads got, a, got, a, got a, a sweet spot in my heart. You know why? Because when I was younger and I was big and I was trying to lose weight, lemon heads was my go-to for if I could ever eat candy. That was my go-to. And I loved it. And I lost weight eating Laffy Taffy. Eating, not Laffy Taffy. <laughs> not Laffy Assy. Uh, lemon heads. I lost weight eating lemon heads. So, y'all should try those. Those are definitely A tier. KJ, thank you for joining. Lemon heads are delicious. Delicious. Only thing I hate about lemon heads, too, is that when you buy it from like third party places like ice cream truck or whatever like that, they be taxing these damn lemon heads, okay? The box clearly says 25 or 75 cents depending on the size. Motherfuckers be selling it for three times that price. I'm paying 150 for a box of lemon heads when they say 75 on the box. Bitch, follow the label. Anyway, those are good. Lifesaver gummies. These, I have to put it in the mid. Dwayne loves these, but it gotta be specific flavors for this one that I like. It's mid. It's all right. It's all right. Let's see. Uh, you said they didn't seem sour enough. <laughs> no, it was it was sour enough for me. It was good. You said those are heavenly. Yeah, they mm, they're good. The only reason why I like the lifesaver gummies is to pretend that they're rings. Like when I <laughs> when I eat lifesaver gummies, I put them on like they're rings on each finger, and then I eat it <laughs> like around the finger. I'm, look, y'all, I have very specific ways that I eat some things. <laughs> y'all say interesting? I knew y'all was gonna get me on that, but, like, that's, like, a certain way that I eat them. I don't know. <laughs> it just makes it fun. I don't know. Mentos Mint. I didn't know this classified as a candy, but, um, that's going there, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He said they're to bake the bubble buggles of candies and mentos are gross. Yeah. He said mint mentos are trash, but he said, but the fruit ones are S tier. Yeah, the mint ones are disgusting. Yeah. Okay, milk duds, you going back up there. I don't know why this is so many things is repeated. Mounds, you definitely going back in the trash. Um, you know what? We're gonna get all of those back in the trash where it was. Hold on. Where is it? You're going, I know these are repeats, but you're going back in the trash, okay? You're going back in the trash, okay, we already did those. Um, Milky Way. So Milky Way, I put that in mid as well. They're all right to me too. They're okay. M&M's Peanuts. The peanut, I actually do like. The peanut butter M&M's is doing that. He said, why there's so many repeats? I don't know. I didn't make the list, so. The regular M&M's, I gotta give it a D. Cause that little shell, they all taste the same. Like all the M&M's taste the same. I don't even know why they're different colors. It's the illusion of a different flavor. But they're all the same color. I don't know why. It said the M&M's stain your uh, skin. And you said, uh, hey Jazz, happy to be here. Finally got to be here live for your tier list. What's gonna be the next tier list? I have no idea. 
Because next week, oh, next week would be April. So I guess I could do like women artists or women video game characters next. Something with women in it because I was waiting for April for that. So <laughs> you said uh, that always bothered you. <laughs> you said regular M&Ms are good. They're all the same flavor. It's a whole bag of the same shit. <laughs> Mr. Good Bar. I've actually never had Mr. Good Bar. I don't know what it was about it. It looked enticing to try, but I've never had it. I've never ate it. I don't know. Okay. Whatever these things are, the Neko, whatever. If y'all had this, you know my pain. This shit was trash, bruh. I don't, ugh. You said Mr. Good Bar's gas. I've never had it, so I could try it. But I've never had it. That shit, but this chick, this, this poppin' pills candy is, is, ugh. I don't know who made it. I don't know who thought that this chalky, ashy, a look, this, this, this the ashiest, if you we talk about ashy candy, this one of the most ashiest candies I done ever seen in my life. You could barely see the color on these bitches. Everything else bright as shit, everything full of flavor and vibrancy and brightness. This shit is just the most pastel, pale, ashy, looking like it need lotion ass candy I've ever seen in my life. And it tastes like it too. That shit, ugh, yuck. It said it looked like Tums. Yes, man, yuck. That shit was disgusting. This was, this is what your grandmas really give you. They give you that, that shit is disgusting. Oh, yes, it is decaying. Not just saying nerds trash. Excuse me, nerds is going in the A tier. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you for real right now? You really said that with your whole chest? That's crazy. Nerds being in the trash tier? Nerds is A. Nerds is automatic A. What do you mean? Yes. I used to be so addicted to nerds, man. Oh. You said, what about Chewy Nerds? Chewy Nerds, I've never had it, so that's why it's down here. I've never had Chewy Nerds. How dare y'all? How dare you? Okay, these little soda cup things, I've never had as well. I see it, I have seen it. I've only, you know what, high key, the only time that I've seen this little like soda pop candy, I don't even know how you eat this, but the only time that I've only seen it was like, if you ever go to like a big candy store, specifically for candy that's when I'd see this next to like the little like candy that was like dots on like a piece of paper and they were like blue yellow pink and stuff like that I have never had this but I've always seen it and they only appear in those certain candy shops I've never seen it like on a shelf somewhere like in Target or whatever he said it's wax candy with juice inside them you can eat the wax too so, okay, so when you eat it, right, like, are you, like, biting the tip of it so you can squeeze out the juice? Or are you biting the whole thing and the juice, like, squeezes out? Like, I don't understand how you eat it. You chew the bottle, but don't eat it? You don't eat the wax? Oh, oh, it's, oh, you don't eat it? Oh, so it's just like a casing. You just chew on the wax. You don't eat it. You just chew on it. Oh, what? Okay, so so if you ever eat this, this is a disclaimer. If you ever eat this one, do not eat the wax, apparently, because that's bad. So don't do that. Y'all said, who out here eating wax? Ooh. You said you get it's chewy but can't swallow it. Okay, yeah, let's not let's not do that. Let's not eat that, y'all. Um, not y'all saying it was an experience. <laughs> y'all trying to have microplastics in your system? Okay, now and later. <laughs> yeah. Now and later is going right there. Now and later is there for the same reason as Laffy Taffy. We had a whole debate about it. Okay, you gotta warm that bitch up. <laughs> okay, payday. This is one of Dwayne's favorite candies. Hope Dwayne don't see this. But uh... <laughs> this is one of Dwayne's favorite candies right there. That's going into D. <laughs> I don't like it. You know, the reason why I don't like it because I'm not a big peanut person. So like the whole thing is peanut. So that's that's just a biased thing. But like it's going there. 
I'm not big for peanuts, but that one is actually good. The M&M &M peanuts is actually good, but like the whole bar being peanut, nah. <laughs> okay, these mints, these are like the grandma mints they used to give you. These are, these kind of trash. You know what mints are good? Hopefully I could find it because it's a certain mint that is delicious to me. It actually tastes like candy. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. So, y'all, this one right here, these mints that are shaped like this, the soft mints that you can just bite into, you ain't got to suck it too hard. Pause. You ain't got to suck it too hard. These are the ones that's delicious. Those are the ones I will slap for, okay? You say, you love nuts? Oh, my God, Shaq. God. <laughs> These are the ones that are good, okay? So, this one is the one that kind of sucks. That's the one that's kind of bad. You say, that's the one? Yeah, so y'all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that disintegrates, right. The one that disintegrates as soon as you put it in your mouth, that one, that one is hitting. That one is actually good. That one, Heike, don't even taste like a mint. It tastes like sugar. It tastes like candy. So that's why I like that one. That one is delicious. But this one, not so much, all right? Oh, he said those ones are disgusting. And yes, the soft peppermints are the best. Okay, this is Pixie Sticks. Pixie Sticks is going up here, okay, baby. I love all the flavors of Pixie Sticks, okay? I love them. I used to, how did y'all eat P Pixie Sticks? Were y'all the ones that would eat it straight out the straw, like, like a straw, and eat it that, like that? Or were you like me, and you would pour little amounts into your hand lick it off and then like do it again because that's what I did because I used to like savor my candy so like I never poured the whole thing into my mouth I would like put it in like small doses in my hand and lick it up that's what I would do so you'll eat out the straw is it getting the straw to wet was the worst exactly that's why I didn't get out the straw because if you wet the tip okay excuse me this is gonna sound very wrong but hear me out okay if you get the tip of that straw wet or too wet, all of the candy is now going to be stuck on there. So it's like you're you're fighting for your life trying to get the rest of the dust out and it's not coming out. So like, then you have to rip the other end because that end was dry so you can get it out. But like, so to avoid all that, I just put it in my hand. So that's that's what I did. Yes, it is getting worse. Look, y'all, I ha there's no other way for me to explain it, okay? So I'm sorry that some of y'all look erupted, okay? If those words are used in regular conversation, shit. Jesus. <laughs> you said y'all would what? You said you know a guy in elementary school that would either smoke them or get a lime and sniff the powder. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all need to check on that man in 10 years. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, what are, are these rice crispy balls? Are these rice crispy balls? This not even candy. Why is this in here? This is pretzels. This don't ain't got no chocolate on it. I understood the flips because it has chocolate on it. This ain't got no chocolate on it. Why is that there? Um, we gonna put, I'm gonna put the pretzels in mid because it's, it's all right, but why is it there? We said rice crispy ball is not candy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, those are popcorn balls? These are popcorn balls? I ain't never had popcorn balls. I've ever heard of Zots. I've only seen them in one store. I've never heard of them. Uh, pop, so these are popcorn balls. I've never had this, ever. <laughs> never in life. You said, did you know a kid who snorted Pixie Six? I think we all did. No, I've never, <laughs> I've never seen a kid snort it in their nose. <laughs> like, never. Um. Okay, so with popcorn balls, what's in it? Is it like, cause it looks like Rice Krispies. So like, how are they held together? Are they held together by marshmallows? Like melted marshmallows or is it like melted butter? How are they staying together? Is it caramel? I don't understand how they're how they're staying together. You said had a guy snort pixie dust in the middle of group presentation, started sneezing like crazy. I tried hard not to laugh, bro. Oh my god. I need to check out classmates. You said popcorn, marshmallows, and sugar. Hmm. I gotta try and make some, y'all. Cause high key. And y'all, y'all come, y'all come close. This is this going this gonna be for just us, okay? This gonna be just for us. I am one day 
going to make either a food truck or a bakery, confectionery, whatever, and call it Jazzy Buns. And it's gonna be having like desserts and candies and all that stuff like that in there. That's my plan. Cause I'm good at making those. But since y'all told me about popcorn balls, I gotta experiment and try to make my own. But I will be making cupcakes and desserts and cakes and all that stuff like that one day. Just know. And Dwayne is pushing very hard for it because he's had my stuff and he's like, yo, you need to open up like a shop. <laughs> so I, I feel like I might do it. Because when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I can see myself being a baker because I was, I like doing it. But like, whatever, it's just between us. Keep it on the hush. Okay, so y'all said hire me. Oh, and, and another idea because it's not going to be like just like a regular like bakery or whatever like that. Like, of course you can get your regular stuff. But like my goal with some of my stuff, some, because not all, because some people might not be into it, is to have vegan options for one, for all of my stuff so if i have something there's going to be a vegan alternative to it and then two i'm going to have like the regular stuff but then i'm going to have stuff that's specifically decorated like anime slash gaming stuff so like i can have cupcakes that look like kirby i got cupcakes that look like something from zelda something from Jujutsu kaisen like i have some different stuff like every month or whatever circulating so that's how i'm trying to do it because I feel like we need stuff for the nerds and have stuff for the girls for the for the black girls and have like I was picturing like making like little like chocolate cakes like chocolate or peanut butter cakes or whatever like that and like have the top of the cupcake look like a black girl with like her hair like the curly hair to like accentuate like our different textures and stuff like that so like it's little stuff I'm thinking about so <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that. I feel like that'll be cute. Yes, it's Wayne in the background. Dwayne was probably yelling because of Overwatch. <laughs> so I feel like that'll be cute and and representative of my people. And 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 I'm gonna throw in some some St. Thomas like uh, decorations in there too. But people probably won't know what it is. <laughs> you said need a bit on you trying these things that these never had candies. You know what? I could do that. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. So, you said don't tell all the secrets. No, I'm only speaking it because what I'm envisioning how to do it, I don't know if, I don't know. But I'm just saying that that's a that's an idea. So. Paydays is what? Huh? Paydays is an ass Oh my God, who snitched, bruh? Who snitched? Paydays is we an ass We supposed to be candy? here, bruh. If you gonna be in here, get in camera. No, that's all they gonna see is his fist. Why do you have an armband on? So I can protect my tattoo. No, you need to let it breathe. Oh, I need to let it breathe. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to still, like, lead my hand and mouse around. Oh, oh, by the way, y'all, look at his new tattoo. This tattoo, I drew. So, and it's supposed to mean zero to one. So if you see it, it's like that's the outline's supposed to be zero, two, because he was inspired by Blue Lock, and then one mm -hmm. as, like, I'm an right arrow. Right. Yeah. So I drew that one. <sighs> So, uh... He just got it, like, last week. Payday, weekend. huh? Yes, I put payday. I didn't put it in the E tier, as you can see. Hold Almond on. Joy is definitely I put in the it, E tier. I put it in the e D tier. D? Yes. Why? It's Almond not Joy? E. It's, in, it's, it's not trash. Payday is healthier than majority, like, 90% of these candies, bro. Got it, but it's all peanuts. Okay, whatever. It's okay. just nuts. I'm not going to argue. Nuts? I don't argue no more. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, 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 who snitched? Who snitched in that chat, bruh? Because I knew he was gonna come in here. Who snitched? Who was the rat? Who was the rat? God. Somebody snitched, bruh. Damn. <laughs> y'all said too much nut. <laughs> Somebody snitched, man. Who was the rat? Lord. <laughs> All right, Reese's Pieces, continuing on. That's going in A. Actually, Reese's Pieces is going in B. They're, they're good, but they're not as good as the actual Reese's itself. Reese's itself is going in the A tier. Not you saying I'm sorry. What's you, Big Unk? Sheesh. This automatic A's. Good Lord. Now, 
circling back to the conversation that y'all were saying and asking me if I've ever had chocolate in the refrigerator, let me tell you my story about Reese's. Some of you have already heard this story, but let me tell you a story specifically about Reese's, okay? So, I was in school, right? Oh, wait, wait, hold on, let me back up. My, my family took a trip, right, and took us to Hershey Park, right? And of course, at Hershey Park, they have candy, okay? They have a store a store of full of Hershey's candy. And so, Reese, my mom said, you could choose every, she told everybody, she told my whole family, my dad, my, it was just all, it was just four of us. What am I saying, like, it's a lot of people. My mom, my dad, my brother, and me, okay? She told us that we could pick any candy inside that store and we could have it and bring it home, right? So, mine was Reese's, and I picked this Reese's. I had, like, a whole bunch of Reese's in them. It was, like, many packs in them or whatever like that. It was a whole bunch. I came home, put them in the refrigerator because I had to go to school the next day. Went to school, right? Thinking about them Reese's all damn day, bruh. Because I'm like, when I come home, I'm going to take them out of the refrigerator. They're going to be nice and cold and ready for me to eat, right? Came back home, and I was the first one to come home, right? My Reese's was open. So I felt that I was disrespected to the most highest level ever because one, we all had our own choice of candy and you should have ate that if you was hungry. Why did you go eat mine? Two, I didn't even, eat to, I didn't even get to enjoy it myself first before you put your hands in it. So I'm sitting there mad as fuck when I was a child and I was waiting. I was waiting on whoever came through that door to question, I was going to question everybody, and I did. So as soon as my brother came home, I said, did you eat my, I didn't say hi or nothing. I said, did you eat my Reese's? And then he was like, no, he didn't. I said, all right, bet. My mom came home, I said, did you eat my Reese's? She said, no, I ain't gonna eat your shit. I was like, all right, bet. Then my dad came home, and I said, did you eat my Reese's? And then he said, yeah, he did. And I was like, why did you have to eat mine? Y'all all had your own choice of food. That's like you going to a, a takeout, right? Everybody got their name on their bin and everybody put it in the refrigerator, and you said, I don't want my food, I want Jazz's, and took a bite of hers before she could even take it. Why you gotta eat mine? Why you gotta eat mine? You couldn't touch nobody else's, you couldn't touch yours, you didn't touch mine, I didn't even get to open it yet. So I was making a whole, the way I'm mad now is how I was as a kid, bro, I was so mad, I was going off, and I was, he was just like, all right. And so he went to the store, and then bought a Reese's, even though there was other Reese's in there, he bought a Reese's to replace the one that he ate, because that, shit, that was just unfair. How you gonna do that to me? I'm the youngest in the house, you gonna take the baby's food? downloaded already on my switch so i'm ready to play that with you guys so he said that's another reason to hate almond joy <laughs> okay ring pop ring pop we're gonna put that up here ring pop is delicious ring pop is fire i never met one person that don't like ring pop i don't know he said i will also be mad you're not alone yes I don't, i've never met somebody that doesn't like ring pop Nobody's ever been offered a ring pop and they was like, nah. Like, no, like, I've, everybody likes it. You said, I won't mention chocolate out the fridge again. <laughs> it's okay. 
question is that ring pop before I said, do they still make ring pops? They actually do. A lot of the old, well, I couldn't say a lot, but some of them are still circulating. Like ring pop is one of those. It's still circulating. Um, Rolo. I've actually never had this candy. I see it all the time, but I've never had it. You said, um, Reese is how you first discovered a peanut allergy. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Um, what is this? A and W? I, I feel like this is A and W candy, which I'm assuming is the root beer candy. And I don't want to eat root beer as a candy, so that's automatically and I never had. It never was like a thing that I was like, I need to try. So mm -mm. he said if someone proposed to you with a ring pop, you say yes. <laughs> he said you need to try it. I need to try Rolo or I need to try A and W. He said root beer candy sound nasty. I'm assuming that that's what that is. He said my first girlfriend gave me a ring pop. <laughs> oh, Rolo, I gotta try Rolo, okay. I should do a stream trying this stuff, trying all the stuff that I ain't never had. I should try it. Okay, the runts. I did have these. They were kinda trash, I ain't gonna lie. They're not, they're not garbage. But they're not mid where it's okay too. It's like, mm. He said, how dare you chat? Swedish fish is delicious. Oh, Dwayne loves Swedish fish too, so don't say that either. How about y'all snitch for that? How about y'all say that? He said, never had those. Yeah, that's a D tier. That's, mm, mm Six lips? Oh, these are, okay. So six lips, I know what this is. But this going into D tier too. Six lips was like that candy that you get, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, it has no flavor when you first put it in your mouth. And then you gotta like, work at it for a little bit for it to then have flavor. So, six lit, six lits are kinda, kinda bad. <laughs> they, not, it's like they have no flavor when you, you said, what are they? Okay, hold on, I'm about to show y'all. Six lits has like, no candy at first. Okay, let's see. <laughs> six lips, yeah. If I'm thinking that it's what it is. Yeah, these have like no flavor at first. They're 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 alright. These are like the decorative candies, yeah. Like it's like I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it says six lips is quite the name, yeah. Like it's this thing. So they have no flavor at first, and then like they kinda do later like I don't know how to explain it but it's just mm -mm. I don't like those oh wait I'm in the wrong one <laughs> okay Skittles did y'all know the Skittles is apparently leading the ingredients can lead to cancer because I ain't eat these ever again when they told me that okay but Skittles I did like them when they were out but I heard that they uh they lead to cancer now. So that's why like a lot of places don't have it. You said they do? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, so like when I went to when I went to countries that weren't America, like when I went to like London and when I went to like Japan, they never had things like Rice Krispie treats, like Skittles. A lot of American candies have a lot of ingredients in it that you're really not supposed to be eating and it could actually like lead to like bad stuff developing and that's why like japan like i didn't i never saw one skittles bag in japan they had hella kit kats in japan but they never had skittles because that shit causes cancer so yeah like if you go overseas like their candies are like i wouldn't say healthy but they're healthier than anything you would find on an american shelf i would say so yeah, I've never, I used to love Skittles too. And I never ate them ever again because of it. Okay, Smarties. Now this is, Smarties was the definition of an ashy candy, but this ashy candy had flavor though. So I will say that this goes in the mid. Smarties had ashy candy, but it's actually kind of good. That's why I got to put it in the mid tier because even though they taste good, they a little ashy. So it's, I'm gonna put it in mid. He said, people used to smoke Smarties? What is up with y'all and smoking everything? How do you even smoke Smarties? They don't even come in as a powder. 
Are y'all crushing it into a powder and then doing it? I understand like if you did it with the pixie sticks, I understand because it's already in that form, but Smarties, you gotta make it into that form. What are y'all doing? He said they smoked them at your schools. He said that all American foods have chemicals that are illegal. Exactly. Hey, so you gotta crush them. Like I understand like when it's already in that form, but y'all are actually doing more work to make it that way so you can smoke. That's crazy. Like, like, like for me, when I was in, when I was a child, they had this, this candy that was like, instead of everybody pretending stuff was like smoke, they actually had this candy gum or whatever it was that was shaped like a cigarette. And like, if you like smoked it, like and pretended to smoke it, it would actually like have like, <laughs> like a, like a powder, like cloud come out, like the little pocket cigarette candy sticks like that. Like, I understand smoking that one because that one actually looked like cigarettes. And like, that, y'all said because why? Yeah, like those, my parents didn't like those. <laughs> my parents didn't like me smoking the cigarette gum. I'd be like, look. <laughs> and they'd be like, don't do that. Put it away, put it in the trash. <laughs> With the cigarette candy. But that was ashy too. But I understand smoking that one. But like, Going through the work of crushing another candy to make it smokable is kind of insane to me. <laughs> That's kind of insane. Oh my God. <laughs> you said you had cigar gum? <laughs> yeah, like that was crazy. Okay, Snickers. Snickers, we're put it in a B. I actually like Snickers. Snickers is good. Snickers, I ain't gonna lie. Snickers, Snickers gotta be the baniest chocolate bar I have never seen okay like when Tasha's tweet went viral because she said he just took the vein out the Snickers I was telling her in the car right before she tweeted it that Snickers got some strong veins in there <laughs> Man, it got some strong veins in there and that's when she made the tweet because I was like them things got veins <laughs> oh Jesus Christ <laughs> y'all ignore me ignore me okay sour patch so you never heard of the snickers <laughs> there was one <laughs> never mind never mind i don't get into it i don't get into it just look it up just look it up uh he says since we're talking about candy for halloween do you give out candy for trick-or-treaters also sorry for the super chat spam i already figured i finally figured out how the super chat works no it's okay loopy shot and thank you for the donation um, I do give out candy. I don't do it now. I used to though. I used to enjoy giving out candy, but like if I do give out candy, I have to like cover my hair and like wear a mask. Like wear, I'd have to wear something that would fully encase this, okay? Because people recognize me from my hair as I'm walking around. Or so, and I don't want anybody to know where I live at. So me giving out candy, they know, so I'd have to put a whole mask on. I have to put on like a whole like thing so that people don't know it's me and then give out the candy. <laughs> but that's what I would have to do. So, yeah. <laughs> but I do like giving out candy because I like seeing people's uh, costumes. I think they're so cute. Now, 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 if you're one of the kids, right? I I, I love giving out candy to kids that say. You know, trick or treat in their cute little voice. Like, I'm like, here you go, baby. But, and I understand the ones that are like shy too, that'll just like, you'll open a door and like they'll just have the bag there and like not say anything and just look at you. And I would look back, I would be like, <laughs> like, I, can I hear a, can I hear a please or a trick or treat? I know we getting free candy, but give me something back. Like, come on. I'd be like, give me something. They'd be like, all right, trick or treat. I'd be like, all right, there you go, baby. <laughs> I'm like, don't don't just knock on my door asking for some food, cause I'm gonna go to your door and ask for some sugar. I'm gonna ask for some ask for some money on my rent. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> right, like I wanna hear some. And then I used to hate the people that would come up with no costume, right? And then. They be grown as shit. They be like 15. <laughs> they be like 15. 
and like I understand like if you don't if you uh, can't get a, a costume and you're trying your best you're trying a little mask or whatever like that like that's cool but if you 15 and you just coming up walking up with regular clothes and I ask you who you supposed to be and they be like myself you ain't get no damn candy get your ass on okay get your ass on all right you could at least try by putting on a mask or a sheet like Charlie Brown and be a ghost or some shit. Don't walk up and say yourself and you grown as shit. Like I would get I would give kids with no with no uh with no costume candy all the time because they say trick or treat and all that stuff. But if you a grown ass kid, you look at me eye to eye and you ain't got no damn outfit on, get get out of my door. Get out of my door. Okay? Jeez. <laughs> get the get if you don't go to Target, bruh. Okay. He said, not a sheet, not in this day. Like, they'd be like, myself. Get the fuck. All right, so Sour Patch. <laughs> Sour Patch uh, kids. Let's see. Let's get this. Hmm. Sour Patches. I would have to put that. Yeah, they're kind of mid, too. Sour Patch, they a little too sour for me. <laughs> Whole mouth be puckered up as soon as you put that thing in. It... <laughs> Whole mouth be puckered up like pick it up like that oh wait okay 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 spree actually actually sixlets is what i thought spree was hold on hold on sixlets was what i thought spree was spree was actually the candy that didn't taste like shit this actually going in trash this is the one that i fucking hate sixlets yes they did have a little flavor to it but this one really didn't taste like anything it really didn't he said sour gums be tearing your gums up <laughs> these actually didn't taste like nothing like nothing at all you said right six is chocolate yeah yeah spree is what actually didn't taste like anything i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all what, what spree looks like let me see spree candy oh jesus okay that's showing the <laughs> it's showing the movie let me say the candy this is why i always put my face on here before i do anything else okay so it says six lits are candy chocolate. Yes, six is, six lits was candy chocolate. But spree, this, these little hard discs of plastic actually didn't taste like anything. They didn't taste like anything. They were chewy, but they didn't taste like shit, man. They didn't, he said spree sound like a slur. <laughs> oh my God. They said they look weird. Yes, said discount ass Skittles. They, they were like little discs of no flavor. I don't know how else to say it. They said it felt like it was chewing plastic. Exactly. No flavor at all in that one. Um, Starburst. Starburst is actually hidden. I actually do like Starburst. Starburst is kind of fire. But I heard that Starburst is bad for you too, so I never eat it again either. <laughs> all right. Now... It says spree sound like a candy for serial killers. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> um, okay, so now this truck. Does anybody know the name of this candy? Okay, before we even rate it anywhere, what is the official name of this? Because I don't know what the name of this is, but we've all had it at some point in our life. What is this called? Y'all say grandma candy? Oh, right, that's not the name of it. What is it called? Y'all said granny candies? See, look, nobody knows. Nobody knows. We all saying grandma candy. That's not the name of the damn bag. It don't say grandma candy. What the fuck is the name? Because <laughs> we all know that we got it from our grandmas. We don't know how they got it. We never see them shopping for it. We never see it on the shelf. But your grandma always had it. And, and some old lady at church always had it as well in her purse. I feel like these things don't even be sold. I feel like, I feel like this candy is like that candy that just magically appears in your bag once you reach a certain age. Like once you reach like 60, like once you hit 60 years old, they start appearing in your house and spawning at different spots in your house and in your bag. Because we don't know how you got it. We just know you got it at some point. And these are kind of trash too. <laughs> They just spawn in your house after a certain time. Strawberry bonbons, yes, exactly. Okay, strawberry bonbons, they just spawn in your bag. 
That's how you know you old. That's how I know I'm old. Once, once I know I'm old once I go out one day and I'm like an old lady, senior citizen, and I look at my bag from my wallet and I just see them little strawberry bonbons in there. It's up for me. <laughs> I'm a senior citizen at that point. It's a they're called strawberry bonbons. Okay. I it's it's up once they start spawning in my bag. Um, let's see. You said, am I still making game videos? Yes, I did one yesterday. <laughs> yes. Um, sugar babies. I've actually never had these. Never had these in my life. I don't know. Are those the same as sugar daddies? Okay, what's the difference between sugar daddies and sugar babies? What is the difference? They're they're both next to each other. You said that and butterscotch. Yes, the sugar bomb, sugar, strawberry bonbons and butterscotch, they go hand in hand with the grandmas. Sugar babies are smaller. Okay, hold on. I'm about to look it up because I've never had either one, but I don't know what the difference is. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, I'm so glad that I did not um, show the screen for when I typed in sugar babies and sugar daddies because I am seeing people. <laughs> I am seeing people come up. Candy, let me specify candy. Good gracious. <laughs> I was seeing people, bruh. Okay, y'all wanna see what I was seeing? Okay. <laughs> so, when he said, don't be shy, show the screen. Okay, so like when I showed the screen, right? This is what came up <laughs> when I said sugar babies and sugar daddies. This is what appeared, okay? So I have to I have to show candy in order for me to get this screen, okay? <laughs> I did not, I was not. <laughs> oh my God, okay. You said that's a jump scare. High key, that just scared me. I was like, wait, what am I about to see right now? But I forgot that that's a thing that people do. <laughs> Ah, okay. Sugar, okay, so sugar babies are the non-sick form of the same candy. Got it. Understood. Understood. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 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 So I've never had either one. Um. <laughs> Uh, he said, now I'm gonna get sugar daddy ass. Oh no. I already, I already get it in my DMs. I'll be in my DMs and I see it and they'll be like, hey, did you wanna be my sugar baby and have an allowance of this much money? And I, you don't have to do any obligations and you could be my sugar baby. Like, no, get the fuck out of my DMs, bruh. Like, get out. Get blocked too. <laughs> that happens, y'all. Um, Swedish Fish. Um, Dwayne loves these too. I put them in the D tier. <laughs> Swedish Fish ain't really got that much flavor either. That's one of the things that don't got flavor. Now, Sweet Tart. Sweet Tart. You said trash? I would agree with you. I would agree with you. Hi, Key. Nah, they, they indeed. They're they not as bad as these are, but these they're bad. They're bad. Um, Sweet Tarts. Definitely going in the A tier. I love sweet tarts. Sweet tarts are what Smarties thinks that they are. Like sweet tarts are like the Beyonce of the Smarties. That's that's what sweet tarts is. Sweet tarts is the is the good one, and Smarties is like the chalky one. Smart sweet tarts are like the Smarties with lotion. If that makes sense. That's what I'm saying. What? Smarties are disgust. So y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Smarties are disgust. I thought you said sweet tarts were disgusting. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know what, what is this? I don't know what this candy is. Is this salt water taffy? If I had to guess. Is this salt water taffy? Oh, it is salt water taffy. Okay. Okay, saltwater taffy is not that bad either. It said it looks like banana. Yeah. It said this is a random question. What's your favorite Pop-Tart? I haven't had Pop-Tarts in like ages. 
Last time I had a pop tart, I had to be like six or something. So I guess strawberry, because that's the only one I had. But yeah. It's a saltwater taffy that sounds nasty. No, saltwater taffy is actually good. I'm putting in a med tier, but they're not disgusting. They're actually good. It depends on the flavor that you get, but saltwater taffy is, is actually soft. Saltwater taffy is like what Laffy Taffy is if you already microwaved it or like heated it up. Like that's what that is. It's like that, but like less flavor as a Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy has a little more flavor than saltwater taffy, but it's good. It's actually good. You say you never heard of it? It's in it's in all the it's in all the candy shops. Go go try it. Um, this is sound like it's from the ocean. <laughs> it said, "Jazz, you're just warming candy." Look, y'all, just see the vision, okay? See the vision. All right. Why is Teddy Grahams here? What is up with this list having stuff that's not candy? What what the fuck? Why is the Teddy Grahams here? It's not candy. It's a snack. Okay, but Teddy Grahams they mid too. That's that's all right. Listen, I'm not actually microwaving Laffy Taffy. I'm just using my natural heat, my natural body heat as a microwave, as a as a conductor for heat to to soften it. Don't worry about it. Um, we're okay. Next one, we're going into the Tootsie Pop. The Tootsie Pop is going there. Okay, I love Tootsie Pops. Oh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? I don't know how it goes, but that's how I say it. How many licks does it take to they get? Hold on, hold on. How many licks does it take to get to the licks? To, what, fuck it, whatever, whatever. I said it a certain way when I was a kid. So, just, just know that that was my little, that was my little rap about that, but it was good. Tootsie Pops are delicious. Tootsie Pops are delicious. Okay. Is that that commercial is nostalgic? Exactly. He said, my brother found out it's, it's going around like 5,000 licks. Really? 5,000 licks? 5,000 licks? <laughs> That's a lot of, wait, someone said 268 licks? Okay, so somebody did a lot of licks that were small, and somebody did a lot of licks that were, well, less licks that were big to get those. 2470, so apparently different for everybody. Okay, so... I don't even know why I'm seeing Twizzlers here. Yuck! Get your nasty ass in trash, okay? God. We ain't doing that again. All right. Um, and you. You too. You can get your ass on in there too. The York Mint Twizzlers and that, that can go in there too. He said, hey, Jazz, love the content. I also wanted to send prayers to the families and the victims of Keybridge. Thank you, Nick. Shout out to the families and hope that they get the resolution that they're looking for and hopefully their families are okay. He said, Yorks are so bad. Yuck. He said, Yorks are Granny Kitties too. Exactly. Who likes a York? Yuck. Ew. Disgusting. Nasty. And Twizzlers is nasty too. I don't care if it's red. I don't care if it's a strawberry one. That one's nasty too. That's, that is plastic. Okay. Yuck. All right. The Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll, I'm going to have to put that. They kind of ain't got that much flavor either, high key. Now I think about it. Tootsie Roll is like a plastic chocolate, if that makes sense. Tootsie Roll is a plastic chocolate, but, but the Tootsie Pop makes it actually have some flavor with the Tootsie inside. But the Tootsie itself is just plastic chocolate. This is too hard to chew, exactly. Yeah. That someone said a black delicious black licorice is delicious. Yuck. They said my dad be tearing up them Yorks up. <laughs> Yuck. So you always hate to see Tootsie Rolls. High key Tootsie Roll was like the last chocolate that would be in my Halloween like bag. Tootsie Rolls would be one of the last ones there. Like I'd eat it, but that's gonna be one of the last ones eaten. I'm eating everything else first. So yuck. Yes, the people duck, dip Yorks in coffee? Ugh. Ugh. He said it looks like caca. <laughs> okay, Twix. Twix is actually good. I put that right here, right next to Snickers. That's actually good. Twix is actually kind of fire. Is that, let me see Tootsie Roll. Not the dance. Did y'all ever know the dance to Tootsie Roll? 
I don't know. I might be showing my age with that one, but whatever. <laughs> Good. Um, the warheads. The extremely sour warheads. I'm gonna put those here too. Warheads gotta be the most sour candy I've ever had in my life. I was fighting for my life just to swallow with warheads. Pause. I was fighting for my life just to eat that. That used to tear my insides up. Like as soon as I put it on my tongue, it felt like electricity was on my tongue and I couldn't swallow it. Like, I don't know. It was just like the worst. It was too sour. It's too sour to be enjoyable. It was too sour to be enjoyable. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. He said warheads were too sour. Exactly. They were too sour. They're sour, and then there's like too sour. Like, I'm, mm mm. He said you hate them? Yeah. Mm mm. No. Um, Werther's Original. I've never had this, but I'm assuming that that is the same thing. It's some caramel candy, but I'm assuming that it tastes like butterscotch. I've never had it. That just gives me like, like, like grandma candy as well. The Werther's. That gives me grandma candy as well. Flips. Now, the white chocolate ones, those are better than the milk chocolate ones. Those are actually kind of fire. I like the white chocolate ones. I just I just like white chocolate. White chocolate is so good. I don't know. I like it. I like it. He said Werther's are good. <laughs> I never had it. Whoppers. This used to be my brother's favorite candy was Whoppers. He always loved these. Um, but I'm gonna put these in mid too. They weren't nasty, but they were good. So, he said white chocolate's ass. Yeah, I'm one of the people that do like it. Like, I know a lot of people hate white chocolate, but I'm one of the people that actually likes it. It's actually good. He said mounds need to be higher. Mounds de deserves to be here. I put it twice. I'm doubling down on what I said. Mounds is disgusting. Okay, I've never had this spe specific one, so I cannot say that and I think that the rest of these are just repeats I don't see anything else that we haven't done on this list okay so this list repeated twice so that's that list you said Werther's is the basement bottom of church candy <laughs> yeah those are repeats right there but these these are good now I'm gonna go to this list and see what I haven't rated we're going to speed run this one. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. These are, oh, these are numbers for this one. And this one was Jackson. Hold on. We're going to speed run this one, but I'm going to modify this one just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to have five. Let me see. A, B, C, D, E, and then that. Okay. Everything underneath that got to go. So let's see. Let's delete that row. Delete this one. Delete this one. We're going to turn this one to A, turn this to B, turn this to mid, turn this to D, turn that to E. Let's see. Can I do that? Okay, there we go. D and then E and never had. Okay, we're going to speed run this one. All right. So this one, the lemon, oh wait, okay, hold on. The chewy lemon heads, I've never had that. Airhead bites, I've actually never had that either. Um, these are going in. Where did I put that at? Hold on. Where did I put that? Yeah, I put that in D, like I thought. Um, Starburst going into A. Welch's. That was where did I put that. That was B. Yeah, like I thought. Okay, B. This one is a D. Yep. Um. Uh huh. I put it in the same spot. Yep. Let's see. It says Jazz is but Willy Wonka like CEO gave you the chance to make your very own candy with no cost to you. What would it be like, and what would be the name? Hmm. That's a good question. I had to make my own candy. Hmm. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a chocolate one. It had to be like a, like a, a tarty, like a soury sugar. Hmm. I don't know, cause I like rock candy a lot. So it might be something along that, like a chewy rock candy. I don't know how to explain it, but I like those. I like those type of candies. So, he said a bang bang bar. Look, y'all, we can't put it. That's going to sound wrong. <laughs> That's going to sound wrong. I can't do that. Okay. Jazzy gums. <laughs> you know what? That's cute. Jazzy gums. I can make a gum. 
that's like two different flavors. I don't know. It could be like a. How I don't know how I would do it. Like if I make a gum, it'd have to be like two different flavors that would be like two different sensations like popping in your mouth. I don't know. Pause. Don't worry about it. No, whatever. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna keep going. Um, so let's see the ones that I haven't done. Okay, I did that. Oh, baby bottle pop. Do y'all remember baby bottle pop? That goes in A tier. Baby Bottle Pop was my shit, man. Okay, Lemon Heads, put that there. Uh-huh, that's going in A tier. I've never had the Ferrero chocolate. Never had that. Never had Ferrero chocolate. It was too damn expensive. <laughs> Ferrero chocolate was too damn expensive for me to even want to try it, okay? I was like, I'm just not going to have it. I'm like, that's it. <laughs> I've never had it. <laughs> I never had that shit. It just looks like it's too expensive. So, I was not gonna do it. Like, it was like, would I rather have a whole lot of candy for the same as same price as Ferrero or just have one thing of Ferrero versus a whole bunch of candy? I would get the whole bunch of candy. So, y'all said it's good? Okay. So, I'll, I'll try that one too. So, I'll try Ferrero chocolate too. Um, I've never had the zero. Let's see. I've never had this Oreo one. That's going in the A tier. Um, this is salt water taffy. Oh, wait, y'all can't see it. Salt water taffy right here is good as well. Where I put that? Salt salt water, I put that in. I put that there, right? Y yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just making sure I match it up. Um, you said still fucking expensive. Exactly. It's still it's still expensive either way. Okay, there's a lot of ones on here that I haven't done. Okay, so let's see. Kadunks. That's an old one, but I've never had that either. Warhead, you going in trash. Okay, Junior Mints, you going in trash, buddy. Um, <laughs> Nerds, you're going up there. Let's see. Let's let's speed around the ones that I've never had. Let's see. I've never had that one. Is Toblerone on here? I don't know. This looks like a... Oh, wait, I actually had this candy. That shit trash, too. That sucks. Uh... Payday, putting it in the D. Let's see, I've never had this specific Oreo candy. Um, I've never had the Nutella sticks because it's just chocolate on a stick. I've never had that. You said they're amazing but expensive. You said the name Ferrero sounds expensive. <laughs> um, let's see, Pixie sticks, that's going in A. Let's see, the York, you're going in trash. Um, Sour Punch Straws, oh my God, yes! See, Sour Punch Straws were like the, the perfect amount of sour and chewy. Sour Punch Straws were delicious. You get you the rainbow one, oh, so good. So good, Sour Punch Straws were so delicious. Oh my God. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with like the actual jawbreaker. The actual jawbreaker itself, I've never finished one. I would always throw it out by the time that like, I, I would never get to, like, the end of it. So, <laughs> fireballs, trash. <laughs> Twizzlers, trash. Let's see what else I hate in this here, in here. Let's see, I never had that. Um, hot tamales, you suck. Um, mounds, get out of here, bitch. Uh, Almond Joy, you get next to your brother. Um, let's see, Mr. Good Bar, never had. Um, ooh, I've never had this, but I do want to try it. The yo-yo, the yo-yo, I forgot what it's called exactly, but it's good. Um, let's see, Starburst, A. Hershey's, A. Yep, that one, that specific one is good. Uh, never had the Werther's. Never had Crackle, what is that? What is Crackle? I've never had that either. Um, Pocky, I do, I did see Pocky here. Pocky, the chocolate one, I would say that one is mid. But the strawberry one, that one is good. That one is delicious. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Jelly bean, I have to put that in mid because it depends <laughs> on which one you get. Um, the Whopper strawberry, never had that. Uh, never had Copico. What is that? He said, Pockies are so good. Yes. He said, thank you, Japan, for Pockies. Yo, when I went to Japan and I went to, uh, what is the store? It's like Don Cojito. Don Cojito. 
it has a penguin on it that store that has a whole bunch of like different kit kats and different things for you to buy they had a whole bunch of different pockies in there and it was so delightful you don't understand i want to go back to japan i'm missing japan haiki ever since i went there i've been missing it japan was so nice it was like i was in a dream but I want to go back to like a different area though. I'm gonna I'm run, I'm gonna run Tokyo back because Tokyo was fun as hell. But I'm gonna try to go to like Kyoto and like the other parts of Japan. I want to go to Nara Park with the deers. I want to do a whole bunch of that. I need to go back. That shit was so fun. Need to go for like two weeks in Japan. I know because a week was not enough. It was not enough. But I'm glad I went. Um, let's see. I've never had this Oreo one. I've never had Dove chocolate. Is it Dove or Dove? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one, but I've never been, I never had that either. He said, you're making me jealous, Jazzy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You said, take me with you. Because <laughs> I'm telling y'all, like, the, the, the most expensive thing for Japan when you go is your plane ticket. Other than that, your dollar is going so far in Japan. I don't even think I spent more other than like like us shopping at like regular stuff, like if I'm talking about like food, your food is gonna be less than ten dollars in American money all the time, no matter what you eat. Like we had all you can eat Kobe steak at this place, and it was like less than twenty dollars. Like like it is so, it's so. Go if you can. Go if you can. That's all I can say. Go if you can. Um, oh, oh, okay, so how do y'all feel about Peeps? Okay. Peeps? I actually like it, and a lot of people don't like it, but I actually like Peeps. Peeps are good. Dwayne loves Peeps, so he'll put it in the A. But, yeah. He said, you're very small, you can fit in my suitcase. <laughs> oh my gosh, that Copico is a coffee candy? Ugh. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Not me reacting like that. Okay, I'm sorry. No offense to people that like coffee, but coffee candy? Uh. Okay. Uh. That's all I'm saying. Let me see. My music is... Let's see. Let's get to... Let's get to the beginning one, because I need to restart this playlist. Bam. There we go. All right. Now, let's see. Yes, that peeps, peeps are too sweet. I know a lot of people don't like peeps, but I like them. But that, you can't eat a lot of them, just like candy corn. You can't eat a lot of them. You just gotta eat like a certain amount. Um, red vines. I'm assuming those are the off brand of Twizzlers. That's why I never had it. Um, Reese's is going in A tier. The cream egg, I've actually never had that either. I wanted to try it, but I never had it. Skittles is going in A before, they're, you know, I stopped eating it, even though it gives you cancer. Um, Dum Dums, you're going in there. Um, let's see, Gobstoppers, you're going in there. Uh, Jolly Ranchers, A. I'm just putting, this is B for the Reese's Pieces. Um, let's see, Airheads goes in A. Let's see, I think this is the, the soda candy, never had it. Never had the Kinder Egg. Never had that either. Snickers is going in B, so I do like that. Um, the Extremes, the Airhead Extremes. Yes, those are so freaking good. Oh my God, Warheads, you're automatically going to trash. Automatically. The, Air, the Extreme Bites, I've never had. The White Chocolate Kit Kat, I do like that one. The White Chocolate Kit Kat, I love those. Let's see. Uh, now and laters, yes, they're good too. Where I put that, I put that in the same spot, right? Yep, I sure did. I sure did. Okay, Reese's, the sticks, right? I uh, the sticks are kind of mid for the Reese's sticks. I need the regular Reese's. They they started getting too creative and they started going downhill. <laughs> Skittles, all those are going up there, but they're bad for you. This is this is trash. Um, three musk, no fun dip. There we go. That's a. Um, never had the Oreo. Lifesavers, if we even call that a candy, because it's more like mints. Those are like a D tier. He said, what do you like about white chocolate? I don't know. Maybe it's because it has more milk in it. I don't know. I don't know, but I just like it. Uh, Trolley's definitely going in A tier. 
let's see. Uh, warheads, you're going, you're automatically in trash. Anytime I see warheads, you are in the garbage. The cookie dough candy. I always seen it in the movie theaters, but I've never had it ever. Um, the strawberry Kit Kats, I have had that. These are actually good too. <coughs> Red Vines, the, the off-brand Twizzlers, never had that because I never desired it. <laughs> the Mamba shoes, I've actually had it because of Tasha. I've never bought it myself. But those are all right, too. You said, what's Trollies? You're from the UK, so you don't know. Oh, Trollies is just, like, sour gummy worms. Like, with, like, it's gummy worms with, like, little sour, like, stuff on it. It's good. It's very good. I, I recommend you try it, okay? <laughs> Uh, the eggs from Trolleys, I never had that. Never had these little orange things, but I have seen them. Uh, let's see. Nerds, the rainbow nerds, this rainbow box of nerds is hitting. The rainbow box of nerds hitting. I will have that same box of nerds for a month, just eating it little by little, bruh. It's so good. It's so good. He said, you haven't had the cookie dough candy in years? I only see it in a the movie theater. I never see it nowhere else. And like five below. But like, that's the only place. So, yeah. He said, you don't know why they made a, a candy after you, Mamba? <laughs> yes, that is a... I only know that because of Tasha. The Mamba Chews. He said, love the gay nerds? Yes. <laughs> he said, it's been a minute since you've seen me eat trolleys on stream. That's because, like I said before, because of this, this situation. So that's why I can't. I could, but I don't. Okay. Um, these are hitting. Let's see. These Twizzlers, you're going to the trash. Get out of here. Um, let's see. The Sweet Tarts ropes. I've never had that. Uh, these are B tier. Let's see. Um, there's some. I'm trying to see the ones that I have not done. I've never had these. These fancy chocolates, the Ferrero, the Ghirardelli. All those stuff that's fancy, never had it, okay? Your girl was poor, okay? Never had it. I could buy it now, but looking at the flavors that they had, like chocolate and like orange and like chocolate and like raspberry, ugh, never, never appeasing. So, never had it. Um, Let's see, mini eggs, no, never had that either. Uh, Oh, Push Pop. Do y'all remember Push Pop? Oh my God. Push Pop was A tier as well. I used to love Push Pop. Oh my God. You said you are said you were poor, but you would find a way. I was never, I was never that, um, never that pressed for those. <laughs> you said you didn't have to out yourself like that. You said I'm broke too. Look, y'all. It's a part of my story. I was poor growing up. Okay, my parents masked it very well, and I appreciate them for that because they made it, they made certain things seem like games to us. <laughs> and then when I grew up, I was like, oh, I was actually broke, but like no, like I was I grew up poor, but like I'm good now, so that's all that matters. So let's see, uh, the SpongeBob patties we already did that. A lot of these I've already done, so we're gonna skip those. Um, I think oh, those are the almond Hershey Kisses. I've never had almond Hershey Kisses. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I haven't had these. He said they sound nasty. <laughs> oh my god. Um, let's see. He said, you always thought that I was wealthy as hell? No, I don't know what gives y'all that impression. <laughs> Like, I always said I don't care about designers. I didn't have Jordans until I was able to afford them by working. Like, I don't know where in my conversations y'all have thought that I grew up with money, but I did not. Your girl did not have it. Okay. Like, I was old enough to drive at a point, and I wasn't even motivated to get my driver's license because I wouldn't have a car to drive. I rode the bus everywhere. I didn't have money to buy a car. Like, I don't know why y'all thought I was wealthy, but that is not the case. <laughs> is that because I'm paid now? Yeah, because I work now. But, like, when I was growing up, no. Why did y'all think I was doing 12-hour shifts? <laughs> I was poor. Like, that's why. And, right, and community college. I didn't go to a university. I went to community college because I paid for it myself. Like, <laughs> and then I dropped out because.
because school wasn't for me. I don't know where y'all get it. I don't know where y'all get that I had money from, but I didn't. <laughs> like, yes, I used to be eating ramen and all that stuff like that. I'm in a better position now, but that's how I grew up, and I'm not ashamed of it. That's just part of my story. So, he said Jasmine was no Mr. Goodman. Exactly. I was not, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all want to know? Y'all want to know how bad it was? Like my first phone, because a lot of y'all phones were like Blackberries and stuff like that. I had a, I had a, I had a track phone. Okay, I had a track phone like a remote. My my phone was so bad that when I left it at school on accident, they returned it back to me. You know how bad a phone gotta be for someone to return at a badass school, by the way, for people to return your phone back to you? Do you know how bad your phone, how shit your phone gotta be? For them to give it back to you and they knew who to give it to like only one person has this trash ass phone this jazz like how do how do we like come on y'all <laughs> like you know how bad it gotta be lord and that phone was black and white i was only whatever like so i don't know where y'all get wealthy from because it wasn't giving that when i was growing up so he said they returned it? Yes. You know how bad your phone gotta be for you to leave your phone and someone returns it back to you? If it was a good phone, they'd keep that shit. If it was a bad phone, they returned it back to me. I was so, I was like happy they gave it back because I wouldn't get in trouble with my parents. But like it gave me insight like, damn, this phone is shit. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. It was black and white and everything, y'all. I couldn't even play no games. Just don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was like, damn, this not good enough to be stolen? It's not good enough to be wanted? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, the panda candy. Never had it. Y'all said y'all had George Bush phones. <laughs> they have, wait a minute, they have fire sour patches? I've never had a fire sour patch. They have fire sour patches? That exists? They got spicy sour patches? Is it spicy and sour? I don't know. <laughs> oh lord i didn't know it says limited edition it sounds like it'll burn your mouth yeah mm -mm. Mm. you said it sound nasty <laughs> right and like fire sour patch yuck i don't know what that is um yes yeah, it is expensive this lindor chocolate never had it either that's one of the expensive chocolates that i just never cared to get and i don't care to get it now uh crunchkins nope never had it uh, he said Sour Patch Kids watermelon is good. Actually, the Sour Patch watermelon is actually good. It's actually good. Um, ooh, did y'all ever go to this this station? I don't know what it was called, but I used to love it. That's going into A. This was at like amusement parks and like like candy stores. It's not in your regular grocery store, but it's like you get to fill up your own little tube of like candy like powder, and like there were different flavors. Like I would get that. So that that was delicious. He said pucker powder. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I just used to love those stations where you just fill it up. Um, all of the rest of these, I pretty much have done. The so airhead soft. No, I have not. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm, hmm. I've done the rest of these. Except for the candy canes. Candy canes are mid because they're all right. They taste good, but they're not like disgusting either. So that's fine. And then the rest of these are pretty much done. Yeah. You said, uh, you said you're blind. Is it impossible to, uh, is it possible to zoom in its head? These are just very small. I don't know how to, I don't know how to zoom in. I'm not, I'm not a computer whiz. That's the way. <laughs> I'd be asking him for help, so I'm sorry. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to end it here. Your girl is, uh, I should do a little Debbie snacks tier list. <laughs> Excuse me. When I first, when I first heard little Debbie snacks tier list, my mind thought fat as shit. Like, like the words fat as shit just like flew by my mind. <laughs> For Lil Debbie's, Lil Debbie's tear list. It was like a little whisper that flew in my ear. It was like fat as shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 
sorry. Oh God, that is a big bat list. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that? No, not you. The snack itself. I'm talking about the snack itself. Fat as shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I be having moments where like I read something and like my mind be like saying something so disrespectful and then it goes. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> you said female artist next. Because it's, cause it's April, it probably will be a female list next time. But y'all don't be afraid to tweet me or I should tweet it myself asking you guys, but if you want to tweet me on Twitter or Instagram, let me know what other tier list that I have not done because a lot of y'all be recommending stuff that I have already finished and done before. <laughs> so ones that I haven't done, yes, I will always take recommendations from y'all. This is like a little chill stream that I like doing sometimes. So, um, you said bang, bang, gang, gang. My birthday is next week, number 24. I hope I win big at the casino. Hey, have fun, Tristan. Don't spend too much money at the, at the casinos and do not go to the tables where they have people doing the cards and stuff. You will lose your money. Don't do it. Go to the slot machines. You'll have a better chance. Okay. They be cheating at them tables. Don't go. All right. So he said, check the playlist of my streams. Oh, okay, so my stream playlist, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys because this is the site that I keep talking about that I use. So for my streams, for my music, right? I use Epidemic Sound. I named it Afro-Caribbean Beats because this is my playlist that I just put together of instrumental songs that I like. And if it, says, if it, says, if it fits a certain theme, then that's what I use. So like I have that, I have like, my little soft girl era one, metal tracks, I put little country ones, techno. Stream lit playlist is pretty much everything under the sun. Afro-Caribbean is what I'm playing right now that I put together. And that's what I have. But I have to pay for this. So I pay for it like annually, like once per year. And that's why I can use it on my streams and not get copyrighted. So if you use it and you wanna use it on your streams or whatever like that, then you might have to pay for it if you stream it. If you just like have it for yourself as Epidemic Sounds, I'm pretty sure you may not have to pay. Don't quote me, but just know. Um, this said, just got paid. I love you, Jazz, face streamer. Thank you, Angel. Um, it said, uh, it said, don't get into it like Squid Games and okay, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow with the, most likely a Chilla Arts game. Cause I heard there's a new one coming out, so I gotta check out what that is. Cause Roshi was telling me about it, and it's like some like observational game that's coming out. But I'm gonna see. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for chilling with me today. Um, I had a very long day. <laughs> and make sure that you guys eat some before you go to bed. Make sure you drink water with nothing in it before you go to bed. <laughs> uh, do something that you like. Watch something that you like. Stay positive, and I'll see y'all later. And deuces. Mm-hmm. <laughs>